Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here, and I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10 fresh on this computer. Um, if you want to make your own install media like I have here, uh, there'll be a link below in the description where you can go on Microsoft's website and download this for free. Uh, that way you know you get the right thing, you know you're getting it from Microsoft. Um, if you purchase this online, make sure you're getting install media and not recovery media. That's one of the things that can go wrong sometimes when you try to buy it instead of making it yourself. Is some sellers will sell recovery media and label it install media and you can't use it for a fresh install. So again, if you want to uh, know where to make this, uh, link is below in the description. So I'm going to put my USB, my install media, into my laptop. Then I'm going to hit the power button and start tapping on F12 right away. Yours may not look exactly like this depending on your model, uh, depending on what year your computer is, but it will give you these options uh, to boot from your boot manager or to boot from your USB device, which is what I've plugged in. So that's what we're going to tell the computer to do is boot off of the USB rather than the hard drive. So I'm going to arrow down, some of you may have to tab down, some of you may have use of your mouse. Uh, whatever you do, get down here, choose USB, hit enter. And now hopefully if this works right, it'll start accessing our install media and it'll pull that up. And I'll stay with you through the whole process uh, so you know what to expect. Make sure your computer's plugged in during this process. Um, if it's not plugged in and your battery drains, you've messed up your operating system, you've got to install it all over again. So make sure that it's plugged in. So here we go with our first set of options. Um, it's it's going to ask you to set up some basic settings, English, English, US, I'm good. So I'm going to stay with that. Hit next, and then install now. So this will start the install media setting up on your computer, uh, Windows 10. Okay, this is just asking you to accept the terms and conditions. I'm gonna accept and hit next. Also, if you have any questions through this process, if you get lost, if something's not the way you expected it, leave me a comment, let me know. Uh, check the frequently asked questions first though, they may save you some time. As far as what type of installation, we want the bottom option. Install Windows only, advanced. So click on that bottom option. Now this here, this may differ a little bit. You may see a couple partitions, you may see half a dozen. Whatever you see, just go through them one at a time. Click on them one at a time, then come down here. Click on delete, and then confirm. And this may go at varying speeds, um, depending on your computer, but click on every single partition. One at a time, delete, confirm. There's another partition, delete, confirm. And then another partition here, delete, confirm. When you're done, this is what you should see. Unallocated space should be all that's here. So delete all the partitions and everything there until you're left with just unallocated space. Select it, that's where we're gonna put your operating system. Come over and hit next. And now it'll start copying files. This could take a while again, based on the speed of, of your computer, uh, but make sure your computer's plugged in. And don't be shocked if your computer restarts. When your computer restarts, it's a great time to unplug your USB. So I'm gonna unplug this, unplug your flash drive. That way when the computer restarts, it's not reading off that USB again and it won't start the, uh, the download process all over again. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the... Okay, so I just muted that. Um, that's what will happen, it, 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 it'll kick in, she'll kind of like walk you through the process, uh, you can mute it if you want, and you can also voice respond to her commands if you have a microphone in your computer. Uh, I'll show you how, how that works. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, see, so you can use voice command prompts to take you through, um, or, or you can just click your way through, it's a little faster. So it's asking me to choose keyboard layout. I'm gonna stay with that. I'm not gonna add another one. 
So I'm going to hit skip. Now this is an interesting part here. It's asking you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you do this um, very shortly in, in the next couple prompts, it'll ask you to either log into a Microsoft account or to set one up if you don't have one. And there may not be a way around it. It may just stop you dead right there and there may be no way to fast forward by that without doing it. So if, if, if you are okay signing into your Microsoft account or if you don't mind making one, by all means, hook it up to your Wi-Fi and, and keep on going. I don't like being told to make accounts with companies I don't want accounts with um, and I shouldn't have to do that if I don't want to. So a way around that is to at this point proceed without a Wi-Fi connection. So instead of logging in, I'm gonna go down here and choose I don't have internet. I'm gonna click that and proceed like that. And now it asks me to uh, reconsider, but I'm gonna hit continue with limited setup. I'm gonna keep going forward without a Wi-Fi a connection. Who's gonna use this? I'm just gonna name it Lenovo for the video. Whoops. It would help if I could spell Lenovo. Uh, I'm not going to create a password. I'm, I'm just going to hit next. If you want a password, that's where you would enter it. I'm not going to turn account activity history on. Again, this is a personal preference. So if you want to send them your data for free, you can. I don't like doing that, so I'm going to hit no. And then again, I, I don't want things personalized. I'm going to hit decline. And then here again, this is all like activity history, um, diagnostic reports, all location data, all this stuff that you can send them. Um, I just usually just as a rule, I go ahead and turn all these things off. If you want to leave them on, if you don't care that much, then don't worry about it. Hit accept. All right, so now we did all those prompts. We uh, selected all those options. Now it's going to take us through and it's going to finish setting up. Okay, so now we're at our desktop. Windows is installed. Congratulations. Uh, now before you go ahead and use this, remember, uh, one, we didn't set it up with Wi-Fi, so we're going to want to handle that. And the reason why we're gonna to wanna to handle that right away is because your Windows has been installed completely bare with no updates or anything running right now. So it's a fresh version of Windows with no security updates or anything. So we're gonna to wanna to start those updates going. So sometime, most of the time your Wi-Fi will be down here in the corner like you're used to, but it takes a while to set up. It may take several minutes for it to appear. So it's usually a lot faster to come down here to your search bar and start typing in Wi-Fi. Now it's still loading up, it's still refreshing, so that may not come up right away, we'll just back, oh, there it is. Okay, so it comes up after a few seconds of loading. It's a fresh copy of Windows. But you'll see Wi-Fi settings under system settings. Hit enter. And this is just faster than waiting for it to go down there. I'm gonna click on show available networks. I'm gonna pick mine here, connect. Okay, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, so that's good. I have internet now. Now I'm going to go back down here to the search bar, and I'm going to type in updates. And that's going to come up. Check for updates, also under system settings. Hit enter. This will open up your Windows update page, and it, it, and it may say this. It may say no updates available, or it may see them. Um, whenever you're updating your computer, never trust that. Manually check for updates every time. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on check for updates. And that's how you would get your update started. That's how you start them processing. Uh, after a few minutes, this list may populate a large list of updates because again, it's a fresh copy of Windows. Yeah. So a large list. Make sure you scroll down to the bottom of that list because um, they could start downloading by themselves or there could be a button down here in the bottom you have to click on to say download. So make sure you, you, you check for that. In my case, there wasn't one, and as you can see, they're already starting to download. So if you want any more detailed version on, on how to update your computer, there'll be a link below in the description uh, taking you through the update process, showing you what things to look out for. But in short, 
that's what uh, we've done here is install a fresh copy of Windows, get your update started, and, and you should be good to go. So any questions, leave them below. Uh, like and share if this is helpful. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.